Hi and welcome back to the channel. My name's Kevin and this is Ride Chair Buddy UK. So I've now had the Ionic 5 for three months and I can return the car for just an administration fee. So is the car going to stay or am I going to be returning it? Well, I'm basically in a Kamaz and Tesla charging station at the moment, uh, charging up. I've got to do a pick-up at SD Newcastle, I think it is, it's up on the Cardigan Bay, going to Cardiff Airport. So I've just done a quick charge, it's uh, just gone 9 o'clock. And the question is, am I going to return the car or am I going to keep it? Well, for now, I'm going to keep it. It's a great car, works really well. But there are two instances whereby I may be returning this. Right, so the first reason why I may return this car is, it's a possibility, it may happen, it may not, and we won't know until next year, and that is MG are about to launch their first solid state battery. Now, I'm not gonna say what um, model is going in just yet, but if it's the MG5, and I hope it is the MG5, uh, that is going to make it a perfect airport transfer and taxi car. The solid state battery is going to have a 600 mile range and you're going to be able to charge up, if you can find a fast enough charger, 200 miles in 12 minutes. It's a no brainer. Um, if it does go into the MG5, I may look at handing this one back in and try to finance the MG5 EV if it's got a solid state battery. And my advice to anybody, any taxi driver at the moment, any Uber driver, private eye driver, if you're looking at going EV, if you can, wait until the second half of next year and find out what model MG is getting that solid state battery. Because it will be a big change, it's going to be a game changer. If it goes into the MG4, don't worry, it's not going to work out. MG4 is not a taxi. It's too small, no boot space. But if it goes into the MG5, it's going to make it a perfect EV uh, taxi for any Uber driver, airport transfer driver, or anything. It's going to have the range, and it's going to have the speed to recharge. So that's number one. That's one way I may hand this back. But I won't know until the second half of next year before that happens. The second one, though, is pretty imminent, and that is the price of recharging. When I bought this car, well, when I took on the agreement for this car, fuel, petrol, was at 144 a gallon. And I could charge at the Tesla peak time for about 42p a kilowatt hour. At the moment, now, three months on, petrol prices are going down and Tesla charging and cheap charging is going up. So when I first started, I was saving about 1p a mile, 1.5p a mile by charging electric at Tesla peak time. Off peak time I was saving about 2.5 pence a mile compared to petrol. Now that's changed um, with petrol now at 133 a litre. Tesla off peak charging here at Carmarthen is 40p a kilowatt hour. It used to be about 36. Uh, and it's 49p peak time uh, as opposed to about 45. Then at Caltic Manor, uh, peak time is about 48, I think now. Uh, so it's no more expensive to charge up with electric than it was with petrol in the Ionic Hybrid. So price wise and refueling wise, it's getting more expensive. Now generally, if I can charge up at less than 45p a kilowatt hour, then it's cheaper than petrol. Over 45p a kilowatt hour, it's about the same or more expensive. Now my top price that I'm prepared to pay for electric kilowatt hour is 50p. So I need to find rapid and ultra chargers that's charging 50p or less to make this car pay anything over 50p and it's costing money and it will go back if i can't find easy access to 50 to 
rap, ultra rapid and rapid chargers at 50p or less, this car is not going to work for me. It's hard enough making minimum wage as it is without overpaid on electric. So electric yesterday I charged up on the way back from Heathrow at Reading and the Tesla was 50p a kilowatt hour. Here, peak time, 49p a kilowatt hour. Down in the Celtic Manor, I think it's about 47, 48p a kilowatt hour. So Tesla, which is basically the cheapest around at peak time, goes almost up to my maximum limit that I'm prepared to pay. So other charges are around. I mean, with the Uber discount, uh, BP Pulse is 49p a kilowatt hour. So still below that 50p maximum I'm prepared to pay. The other one is Ionity. Now I have Power Plus and Ionity gives me 43p a kilowatt hour. So that's still well below my 50p um, maximum that I'm prepared to pay and below um, that 45p break even point. So I'm doing okay with Ionity at 43p. Tesla is still cheaper off peak, but prices are edging up and if it does hit 50p and I can't fill up at 50p a kilowatt hour then the car goes back it has to it's simply economics uh, so it will go back and I'll replace it with a petrol hybrid uh, if we get a Vardic uh, hybrid that'd be ideal or Prius hybrid something like that um, it will be a shame to see it go because I do like the car great driving but the cost of charging now is getting quite high um, so it really is down to uh, home charging or ignore the electric at the moment. So that's it, we've just finished charging. Uh, I'm up at 90%. Um, that'll be more than enough for today. Got to go to uh, Emily Newcastle, pick up. It's about half an hour to an hour from here. Down to Cardiff, then back home. Uh, and I should finish home at about 30%, 40%, something like that. So yeah, price of filling up is getting expensive. Um, we've got the RNT over at Mega, which is okay to get to because I do uh, a lot of Bristol Airport. So once we do Bristol Airport, I'll always stop off and just top up. Um, it's getting harder to get onto a Celtic Manor. Hopefully, that's going to get easier uh, as we head into the winter and people aren't going to play golf. But the pricing is heading up. BP Malpass uh, at 49p is below my. Uh, limit so what would be ideal would be for Ionity to open up somewhere in central Newport which makes it easy for me to get to but Ionity is opened up a lot the one in Swansea is about to open the one in Abergavenny is about to open Ionity is um, really the, the power arm or the refueling arm of a lot of car manufacturers they've joined together to open up the internet network it is expanding rapidly. Um, I mean, you got the likes of BMW, Mercedes, Audi, Hyundai, and others have come combined together to provide a good charging network at affordable prices. And 43p with a Power Plus is probably the cheapest uh, 24 hour you're going to find anywhere. So that's why we're doing. Um, they've Signed an agreement last year in 2023 with Village Hotels and all Village Hotels will have a 12 um, charger hub. Uh, it had been planned by the end of this year but uh, the one in Cardiff hasn't even been uh, started on yet. I think Ionity are having problems getting their hands on hardware, charging hardware. I mean obviously all around the world big surge in installations of EV charging points, big shortage of uh, chargers. So Swansea is about to finish, Abergavenny is about to finish, um, the Cardiff Village Hotel hasn't even been uh, planned for yet, uh, it was all supposed to be done, all the village hotels were supposed to have their 12 chargers in place by the end of this year, it's not going to happen. Um, so we'll see how that, that expands. Uh, it's a good network, very fast chargers, all 350 volt uh, kilowatt chargers. And the, I love them. The, I can charge this car in minutes uh, on those chargers. Uh, start cap like they are Tesla. So that's it for today. My three months minimum rental is over.
this car can now be handed back at any stage uh, for an administration fee. At the moment, I'm more than happy with the car, but I've got my eyes very firmly now on the cost of charging, house prices of electricity head up into the winter, and the moment it goes beyond 50p, this car goes back, and I go back to petrol. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, until next time, take care, happy driving, and uh, business is looking good with all the students back and the students and the schools going back. Money is coming back in. Wouldn't lie to you, doesn't matter what I do. She's got a hold on me. She knows how to drive a truck, but she lets me pick her up. When we're going dancing My heart stops beating When my headlights shining on her She's my country girl I couldn't tell you what she's doing with me She's so damn out of my league She's a little bit crazy on the weekends Dancing in her red dress And I love the way she looks in my eyes And I feel the light smiling there's nobody else for me my heart starts racing every time i'm looking at her she's my country girl i couldn't tell you what she's doing to me she's so damn out of my league she's a little bit crazy Doesn't matter what I do, she's got a hold on me.